Welcome again everyone, this is Kevin from cxctutor.org and today we'll be going through some, some more past paper questions. This time is question 3 from the May-June 2014 Mathematics Paper 2. Let us begin. So today in this short video, I'm only going to go through question 3a, which is a simple set theory question. The question goes like this. The universal set U is defined as the set of integers between 11 and 26. So let me list all of the elements in the universal set. Between 11 and 26, we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So notice we said between 11 and 26, therefore we do not include them in our set. So this is my set. I will enclose it in some brackets and I will say these are the elements of the universal set. Okay. Now, within this set, A and B are subsets of U such that the set A is equal to the even numbers and set B is equal to the multiples of 3. Okay, so let me finish for set A. So set A is even numbers. That would be 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. And these are the elements of set A. It says now set B is equal to the multiples of 3. So for set B now, you will have 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and that will be the elements of set B. So I haven't answered any of the questions as yet, but this is the information that we are given. So part one of the question says, how many members are in the universal set U? So all that all we are required to do is to count. So you want the number of elements in U. So all we have to do is to count now the numbers that we have in set U. So 12, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14. So from here I can see that there are 14 elements in the universal set. Starting from 12 to 25. Question 2. List the members of set A. Well, we did that already. We have them here. Set A was 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, and list the members of set B. We did that already. We have 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Okay, so we did questions 2 and questions 3. All that's left is to draw our Venn diagram. So, I'm going to erase this for some space. I hope everyone had it noted down and we're going to draw our Venn diagram now. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so you know the first thing you draw on a Venn diagram is your universal set. We usually represent that by a large box. Sorry for the bandy drawing. It's not that easy to draw on a trackpad. Okay, so we have our universal set. We can label it U. Within the universal set, we have subsets A and B. And from what we just saw before, A has some kind of overlap with B. So therefore, we will draw our two circles, A and B. So this is A and this is B. Now, we want to first, in this intersection, write down all the numbers that were both members of set A and set B. So from what I can see, it was 12, 18, and 24. Alright, so these are the elements that were both in set A and set B. Now we are free now to fill in the, fill in the, the rest of A and B. So for A, there was also 14, there was 16, there was 20, there was 22, I think that was it. For B now, there was 15, there was 21, and I think all of the others are in this intersection. Okay, so that is it for B. All right. Now, we haven't finished our Venn diagram because the universal set is not complete. We have not we have to finish off with, with our remaining numbers and we have to place them outside of these two circles. So that would be 13 17 19 23 and 25 okay so these numbers are not part of any of the union between a and b but they are members of the universal set u okay so this is question 3a a set theory question if you want to see more questions like this answered please go to www.cxc tutor.org okay thank you for being with me